We start with North Korea repeatedly sending trash carrying balloons towards the south. This time, some 30 balloons landed in the South Korean territory. The military in Seoul sent a strong warning today, saying it'll take stern action if those pose a serious threat to people here. Our defense correspondent Pei Yunji explains more. Several trash carrying balloons were spotted flying over Yongsan on Monday morning, near South Korea's presidential office in Seoul. They were launched by North Korea on Sunday evening as the regime resumed its balloon campaign, four days after a similar launch was made. Around 30 balloons carrying trash, paper and plastic bottles landed in parts of Seoul and Gyeonggi-do province on Monday. Some of them even temporarily led to suspended flights at Incheon International Airport. South Korea's military, which has refrained from directly shooting down the balloons, has said it will not hesitate to take action if the balloons pose a serious threat to South Korean nationals. If the trash balloons from North Korea pose a serious threat to the safety of our citizens or cross the line, our military will take stern action. It added that the fundamental measure to put an end to the balloon campaign is to demonstrate that the enemy can gain nothing from them but declined to further elaborate on exactly when the military would determine that the North has crossed the line or what the response measures would be. According to the JCS, North Korea has sent a total of 5,500 trash balloons since late May. They have been sending these balloons to protest against the anti-Pyongyang propaganda campaign by North Korean defectors and activists in South Korea who regularly send over balloons carrying food, money and leaflets criticizing the North leaders. In a tit-for-tat response, the South has been using frontline loudspeakers to blast broadcast of propaganda messages and K-pop songs. Pei Arirang News.